Let's get into it. January 22nd, 2021. Let's get into some more crypto. Let's talk about some Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And um, starting with Bitcoin, you know, we know there are 21 million total Bitcoins. We know that Bitcoins are produced by uh, mining the actual algorithms which are come out as coins and the miners being rewarded for solving the uh, the encryption and processing a block which is a, it allows transactions to take place when one Bitcoin is sent somewhere or sent to another address so it oscillates the flow of the, the coins. Uh, I've mined Bitcoins. I have a Bitcoin miner. I was mining them. Uh, but, you know, when you're mining these coins, you know, the equipment is is, is, is very uh, high impact equipment to where, you know, it takes a lot of energy to run it and then they have to be cooled. And, you know, if you're not in a cool environment, you have to run your AC. So, you know, your bill could get very high. And um, it's just really not um, profitable to mine them at this point in time. In the past, it was. I mean, if you had a lot of miners and you had a good location, or whatever. But uh, 21 million bitcoins. Um, we know that uh, you know the bitcoins are sent as payments. They they have a value that's equivalent to uh, dollars. As I stated, uh, when they first came out with Bitcoin, uh, one Bitcoin was pennies. And now we see one Bitcoin is roughly $33,000. And then we have the Bitcoin, you have within the Bitcoin, there are what you call Satoshis. It's 100 million Satoshis. So when you're looking at the price of Bitcoin, you're looking at a whole Bitcoin is 100 million Satoshis at 33000 so the way you break that down is you say, okay, that's how much for one Bitcoin. How much is it for 10 million Satoshis? And then you would basically just drop a zero from 33,000 to 3,300 for 10 million Satoshis. And then you come down another zero to 1 million Satoshis. So you come down another zero and you get three hundred and thirty dollars for one million satoshis and then you just keep coming down from there you go to from one million to a hundred thousand you see that would be thirty three dollars then we come down to ten thousand satoshis that would be three dollars and thirty cents and then we come down to one thousand satoshis and that would be thirty three cents and then we have one hundred satoshis would be three cents so uh, when you know there's 100 million Bitcoins and you see what it has done as far as uh, being less than a dollar and then being well over a dollar to where the units themselves break down to being uh, with a certain amount of them over a dollar, you can see if it's 100 million Bitcoins, excuse me, 100 million Satoshis in one Bitcoin, I mean, just based on what we have seen in the trend and the pattern, one Bitcoin would be worth $100 million to where one Satoshi would be $1. And then it could even surpass that. So, you know, that's the, the end for Bitcoin right there. Ultimately, for me, uh, now, you know, we know the 21 code is on Bitcoin. So I'm looking for Bitcoin to fall to 21,000. And when it gets closer there, that's when I'll be looking to, to load up on some Bitcoins and then hold my Bitcoins and then trade my bitcoins you can go to sites like trading view and look at the charts i would recommend you start learning more about it and seeing what's going on it's like you know people say oh they're controlling bitcoin and they got all it's like look man these motherfuckers are the ones that made the damn money itself like you spending that you spending dollars and shit and in euro and and in the yin and the, the yan and the 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 ruble and you know the canadian you spending all of their currency already it's like <laughs> if this is what they're doing the the, the most intelligent thing to do would to say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and enter in before they bring in the masses because then it's going to, you know, 
be a, a, a massive increase in price, you know, to hold these these uh, currencies and have them. And then you could liquidate them. It's like when they increase in price, you can actually liquidate them into the dollar or whatever kind of currency uh, that they have available, which these exchanges, they have all the currencies in the, in the, in the world to where you can exchange uh, your your crypto into this, so it's a way to move money. Is you know money or money is currency, and currents need to flow. And you know it's stagnant when you have it in the bank and you're not getting no interest, but the bank is lending out your money and getting big interest off of it. And then they can, you know, they can print up money and then they can, you know, do all these things with money to where they don't even have to have a, a certain amount of reserve in the bank and. You know, it's a, it's a big scam that they're running, and it's like, you know, it's like until we're able to stop these people, it's like we have to learn what they're doing. And, and like I said, you want to get a good entry point into crypto, and you want to have long-term holdings. When you learn how to trade, you can actually sell them at the top of the uh, peak when you're watching the charts, and then you can buy them back at a lower price, and then that way you can accumulate more because the goal is to accumulate more. And then, of course, you always want to have your money on you. You want to have money that you have that's with you. You just don't want to have all of your money in one thing. It's like this is a great way to diversify your portfolio. So I'm not telling you to buy Bitcoin. I'm just letting you know what Bitcoin is about and that, it, you know, advising you and recommending you to take another look at it and look deeper at it and stop listening to these puppets that don't know what the hell they're talking about telling you not to do this and be careful it's like these guys are idiots man they think they smart you know it's like they think they smart but it's like it's things that they're just not recognizing that are part of intelligence and you know trying to be smart you will soon see that's not intelligent you know being smart is on the same <laughs> it's on the same frequency as being dumb because you're limited you're a smart dummy just like a dummy uh can speak that's all it can say is hi my name is chucky so like you start asking other questions and then you can see this what's your last name hi my name is chucky you see so being smart is not good and you know the words and the frequency the codes are very important and we have to start to uh, use these words uh, on a higher frequency and a higher caliber and have a higher word comprehension level and deductive reasoning is very uh, critical at this point in time when you can see that you're in a realm that is trying to make you a, a smart dummy, a box top puppet candidate and if you're lucky you might, it's like we want to use favor, we want to have favor with our creator, mother nature, the power, the glory all to our creator it's like you could play with me but you can't play with my creator and when i'm cooperating with my creator you can't play with me either and that's the bottom line so you know i want to keep putting more material about crypto and bitcoin and then we're going to start getting into these altcoins that are pennies that we could purchase that will you know increase exponentially in value from pennies to dollars and then we have thousands of them and you can start doing the math on that you got a hundred thousand coins and then they go to a dollar that's a hundred thousand dollars they go to ten dollars that's that's a million dollars it's like this is you know how you can increase what you have and it's a good investment so you know we'll be in touch and we'll be in tune with you know what's going on with these markets